Hello, my name is Augusto Cesar and in this video I'm gonna show a really interesting add-on called Transportation. This add-on comes with some interesting features that you can use to change the aspect of your scene as all. Well. So let's do a review about this add-on today. Let's start talking about the feature that adds the assets on your scene. With this add-on, as you could see, you can just click and add a any vehicle in your scene using this category here. So how it works? It's simple. You just select the, the select the the vehicle the vehicle that you want to add something like for example a SUV. And you can select the car inside of the category, and you can just add the vehicle. But that that's not all the add-on has with it. This add-on works perfectly in navy, as you can see. The materials are very flexible the reflections are good, the glass is very well made and it works as well in cycles. So, as you can see, all the parameters that you set on cycles will work perfectly here. Uh, my HDRI is a bit weird, but this is because I don't want to show some trees in my final render. But let's don't talk about it. <laughs> well, as you can see, the materials are good. But the best part of this add-on is the flexibility. So you can just click the car, come here to painting and select a totally new car paint for your vehicle. So let's select a pink paint, for example, and add a pink paint in our SUV. I don't know if you can find this car to buy, but it's really looking, it's looking okay. Okay, it's weird, come on, <laughs> it's bad. But there is a feature here that I really, really, really like. A feature for custom colors. The presets are great, as you can see, but we can add custom colors for our car. You can just come here to this part of the add-on called custom car paint color, select the type of color, for example, a made color, click and select the color by yourself. As you click the button add color, the color will be added to the car and the aspect of the color will be altered using these buttons here as you can see the colors the the material is really really well made it's very good this add-on came with a nice feature to add the cars because sometimes when we are working in our scene we have the floor and the floor is not perfect as you can see i will extrude this let's just delete this i will extrude it and move it up Let's make sure that the normals are correct. And if I duplicate this car and move it up, now I prepared this part of the video to show a nice feature that came with this add-on called Snap Vehicle to the Ground. This feature allows you to select the cars and move it around and click in Snap Vehicle to the Ground and all the cars will be snapped in the most in the closest part of the scene so you can just click and snap it to the ground and as you can see the this snap feature will allow you to put the car in the same normal direction of the face the of the face of the ground so it will make easier because you won't need to rotate your car in the snap and something like that you can just click and snap it on the ground what which is really nice Overall, I really like this add-on. Besides that, the add-on comes with a pack of HDRI, so you can use it in your scene to light your cars. And it comes also with some backgrounds, some backplates that you can add in your car. So if you come here to the page of the add-on in the Blender Market, you will see all information that you need to know about the add-on, the price, and everything else. So I invite you to click the link on the description to know more about this add-on. And if you think this, this add-on will fit your needs, I suggest you to buy it. If not, just ignore it. But there is two packs that you can buy in this add-on. The first pack is the light pack, which I think is enough to most of the architecture visualization scenes. If you are working with some scene that you need to populate with some cars, put a bus, a truck. I think this light pack will be enough for a simple scene, but if you want the prop pack with more vehicles to work with, you can access that. And this add-on come also with updates. So periodically, the creator will update this library. So it's a good uh, it's a good library to buy because you will have some updates in the future, okay? But I would like to know your opinion. What do you think about this kind of add-on, this kind of asset library? Do you think it fit your needs? Do you think there is something that will improve this tool? 
please comment below, ok? Thanks for watching, subscribe, click the like button, notification bell, all that stuff and I will see you in the next video, ok? See you!